You know Jarvis from Iron Man? What if I told you we're actually way closer to building it than people realize? To make Jarvis, all you need is an AI system that can do five things. First, you have to be able to communicate with it. It needs to hear you clearly and speak back fluidly. But we already have AI tools that can do this really well. Eleven Labs and Hume AI are world-class voice models that are already at Jarvis's level. So the listening and talking piece, that's kind of good to go. Second, Jarvis needs to be able to see things and visually understand what's going on. It can't just have ears, it also needs to have eyes. And those eyes wouldn't be through a single humanoid, it would be through a series of cameras all over your space. But again, we already have world action models that are getting pretty good at seeing and understanding. So Jarvis's eyesight capability is also a lot further along than people realize. But the third piece is the biggest one. In order for Jarvis to really work, you need one central AI brain that essentially can hop around freely to different robotics and smart devices throughout your space. It's kind of like seamlessly switching Sono speakers from room to room, but on steroids. Today, our smart devices are actually pretty dumb. So to have a legit working version of Jarvis, we would need an interconnected system of smart devices that are smart enough to act as you maneuver around them. So that's the brain and body, still a ways to go. Part four and five are really what make Jarvis, Jarvis. And that's the customizable personality and the proactive action system. On the personality front, we really just need better memory and emotional expression. But this is also coming and the progress in memory is obvious in the latest versions of ChatGPT. The proactive action system is having Jarvis assess the situation and be able to take actions without you asking. And this is essentially an AI agent system. And again, companies are starting to lay the rails today for proactive agents. So what Jarvis really does is use eyesight to understand what's going on, proactively take action across an interconnected hardware network, and then communicate what it's doing back to you in a personalized way. Ironically, the biggest problem holding Jarvis back today is not that our AI isn't smart enough. It's that our cameras and robots are too dumb for now.